it's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The professionals are quaking in their boots. With the many videos out there of people that excel in their sport, there's a series as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to game three and week three of five in the month of July and watch me suck at bowling come to you from Riverwalk Lanes in Amesbury, Massachusetts. Home of the TV show that hopefully will come back, Classic Candle Pins. They use lanes six and seven and we are destroying the reputation and doing a very good job of it, of lane seven. This is being recorded the same day Watch Me Suck was recorded for June's edition in Exeter Lanes, and it's pretty much the same, except not even a single good game so far. I think the magic has finally died. 6-9-4-4-6-9-9-8-9-8. Well, at least the bottom half went all right. And 77 is the high water mark, which is really pathetic. Well, like I said, I think the magic has died. It's gone. So let's see how badly this one's going to go. Watch Me Suck at Bowling is a proud sponsor of the hit TV candle pin show, King of the Palace. Watch talented professional and league bowlers show their stuff instead of watching this crap. To watch episodes of King of the Palace, simply go to YouTube and search for King of the Palace. If you want to subscribe to the show, go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes. Game three, frame one, ball one. Hasn't been going well, I'm not expecting it to get any better. And as I said before, this place is known to play music, so if it happens, the audio will be muted. Ball three. Of course it wasn't going to happen. But a nine start at the worst, not too bad. It's a niner. And for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the Bullmore Model E in action. And there you go. Frame two, ball one. Ball two. So far, a pretty decent start. We got the 9 and 1, and then the 7 and 2, which we can afford at that point. We're at a halfway decent 16, but the way things have been going, who knows if that'll hold up. Frame 3, ball 1. Two. All three. Uh, yeah, the it died.
all too. The way things have been going, why the hell not? Down the toilet we go. Pair of sevens and three and four. Only a 30. Looks like this is gonna be yet another mediocre run. Frame five ball one. Only had one good game and it stunk from there. Why start now? Ball two. Ball three, I mean, why get better? Any? That's an improvement. Frame six, ball one. Finally a mark. Long overdue. Could luck be turning around, or is this just false hope? Those two frames actually weren't too bad. We got a respectable eight in five and a spare in six. So far, we've got a 48. Will the bonus put the game back on track? Frame six, ball one. El Stenko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? For the two months, they all sucked. Why should this one be different? Plus 10 box now. Ball two, we could get the Emily. Nothing on the first, everything on the second. The way things have been going, probably nothing on the second. Ball three. Frame 8 ball 1, another game down the toilet. Why then again? Why would it be different? Welcome to Masons! Ball 2, this frame's junk already. Another state frame of four. Why? El Stinko sure lived up to its name with that goose egg for Phil. Then we got the other six in the other two balls for frame seven and a lousy four and eight. Fifty eight. Mediocrity? Let's hope. Frame 9 by 1, I already called it bad game. Let's just finish. Ball 2. Proof. I just can't get a damn thing. Let's take the eight. Told you. 
less frame, ball in one, let's just get the mediocrity thing done. Another 70s game. Yay. And it ain't like it matters. As I said, why get better? At least the 9 and 10 frames were okay. A pair of 8s. We end with a 76. Again, haven't seen a good game since the last month's shows. Will things get better? Will things get back to somewhat normal? Or is this it? You'll have to tune in next week to find out. Until then, this is the third week of July 2018th edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. And this is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed, especially at my expense, and have a good one.